Okay, now uh, let's look at this question. When a family of four with total mass of 200 kg step into their 1,200 uh, kg car, the car springs compress 3 cm. Okay? Okay? Uh, <laughs> okay, what is the spring constant of the car springs? Assuming they act as a single spring. Okay, good. We need to imagine this uh, situation. We have a um, family of four. Eh? Uh, this is two, 200 kilogram is the mass of the family. Okay, uh, we have two masses here. You see that? Uh, this is the mass of the family. And this is the mass of the car. Okay. Uh, this is the compression uh, we can put as uh, x, uh, x uh, the displacement uh, uh, can put as the compression. Now we want to find the k, uh, the spring constant. So how to do this question? Okay, uh, do we need to total up the two masses for the same for this compression? Uh, this compression is it a result of these two masses? Ah, no, yeah. This compression should be the result of the mass of family only, huh? Because uh, before before the family step into the car, before the family step into the car, the spring is already undergo. The spring is already compressed. The spring is already compressed by the car. But now this this car compress an extra 3 cm I can, what I can say is this is an extra compression this is an ex, extra compression of 3 cm after this uh, family step into the car uh, before the family step into the car the spring already compressed by the car uh, but after the family step into the car the spring compress some more uh, compress 3 cm extra you understand that uh, so this 3 cm is only uh, caused by the mass of family don't add up the mass of the car you must understand the situation okay uh, we can imagine like this uh? we can imagine things like this ah uh, like this you see that before the family step into the car already the the, the spring is already under compression by the car but after the family step into the car, it compress some more. Uh, extra, compress extra, 3 cm. This is what it means by the questions. Okay? Uh, so this extra compression is caused by the family alone. Okay? Uh, don't add the car. Eh? Uh, because uh, don't add the car. Just the family. Okay, so we want to find the uh, spring constant. So what formula can we use? We just use the formula F equal to negative kx uh, f equal to negative kx so um, this is the Hooke's law uh, this is the Hooke's law okay okay uh, now we just want to find spring constant so actually you can just neglect the negative sign we don't need to uh, consider so many things about the direction okay the direction huh? Uh, uh, this negative sign merely just to show direction. Okay, let me show you just a simple way. Yeah? Uh, anyway, this is actually the restoring force of the spring. Restoring force. Um, so if you just neglect the negative sign, I just want the magnitude. Uh, I just neglect the negative sign. I just put as f equal to kx. Okay. Uh, so uh, what is the mass of a family? 200 kilogram. Uh, so uh, we know that um, uh, one thing is uh, you know the this is the, what, what, what is the direction of restoring force? Uh, direction of restoring force is actually uh, you know when spring is under compression, spring is under compression, uh, the spring try to push back. The the mass the mass of the family is trying to pull push down. Uh, this is the weight of the family, weight of the family, and this is the this is the restoring force. Uh, this is the restoring force of the... Uh, okay? 
Uh, so when the weight of the family pushing the spring down, the, the restoring force of the spring try to push back up. Uh, push back up. So, uh, okay. So what is the compression? 3 cm. Uh, so we just put um, 3 cm. Uh, remember, need to change to uh, SI unit because this is a uh, centimeter. You see that? Centimeter. You need to change it to meter. Okay. Uh, which is 0. Point, uh, which is z divided by 100, you get um, 0. 0.03 meter. Okay. Divided by 100. And then uh, your restoring force. Um, okay, the actually the restoring force is the same as the weight. Uh, is the same as the weight of the family. Okay, weight of the family. Uh, so let's calculate the weight of the family. Uh, it is a, uh, or we can say it is mg. Yeah, mg. So it is two hundred times uh, nine point eight one. Uh, two hundred and nine point eight one. Okay. Uh, yeah. So what is uh, what is this value? Two hundred. Uh, okay. You can say this restoring force is mg. Okay. Uh, what is the value? Okay. Let's calculate. Uh, so uh, this uh, two hundred times nine point eight one, which is uh, uh, one nine six two. Uh, 1962 equal to k 0 0.03 uh, so what is the um, uh, spring constant then yeah so it is equal to 65400 uh, newton per meter uh, newton per meter okay uh, so that's the spring constant Ah uh, okay. Uh, just now this one, the restoring force is one nine six two newton. Okay, one nine six two newton. Uh, so divide by the extension and uh, compression, I get six five four zero zero newton per meter. That's the spring constant. Uh, if you want to consider the negative sign, it's a little bit complicated, but uh, it's doable. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, what I can say is um. Uh, the compression is uh, below the equilibrium position, okay, below the equilibrium position, so it's negative. Uh, so you must put, you must put the, uh, the compression as negative. Uh, you must put as negative 0 0.03 meter. Uh, whereas, uh, this is, we can say the compression is actually uh, negative. Uh, because it's going uh, below below the equilibrium but restoring force is going up going back to equilibrium so this uh, restoring force is positive value uh, is positive value so um, uh, the restoring force is positive uh, which is uh, positive 1962 uh, so the, the negative and negative just cancel off okay uh, you still get back the same answer k is uh, 65400 Newton per meter. Uh, anyway, uh, the direction uh, not so important over here because we just want to find the spring constant value. Spring constant value is always positive value. It's always positive value. So we just neglect the negative sign and no need to think so much about the direction. Okay, just use the positive value and you still get the correct answer for spring constant. Okay. Just remember that this F is actually the restoring force of the spring, restoring force of the spring, and it is equal to the weight of the family. Uh, we just take the weight of the family, just take the weight of the family, because it is the weight of family that responsible responsible for this 3 cm compression. Okay, uh, we don't consider the mass of the car, just the weight of the family. Uh, the weight of the family, the weight of the family. Uh, brings this compression uh, 0 0.03 meter which is the 3 cm good so the answer is correct the answer is correct yeah either way so uh, uh, this is my first method and this is my second method
Now, question B. Huh? Just now is question A. Uh, now, question B. Uh, question B. Determine the period and frequency of the car after hitting a bump. Assuming the shock absorbers are poor and the car really oscillates up and down. <laughs> okay, so I want to find the period and also the frequency. Okay, so this one I will need. Um, okay, so how to do this? Uh, we have the spring constant K and we have the mass. Uh, okay, this one. Um, mass of the car with the family yeah uh, this mass of the car plus family uh, yeah car plus family yeah okay so um, okay I want to find the period so what's the formula for this period uh, oscillation of the spring mass system uh, this is the one spring mass system is period equal to uh, 2 pi square root m over k or you can use the k equal to m omega square. Uh, these two formula is the same. Okay. Uh, but I want to find period. I straight away use uh, period equal to 2 pi square root m over k. Okay. That's for spring mass system. Okay. Good. So now let's do it. Yeah. So period is uh, 2 pi square root m over m over k. Okay, square root 2 pi square, square root m over k. Uh, but be careful. Uh, this oscillation is the car and family oscillates together. Yeah, uh, car and family oscillates together. Uh, so this one you cannot neglect. The mass of here is the mass of car plus family. Uh, the mass here, it, the mass here is the mass of car and family ah yeah mass and uh, car plus car plus family okay and spring constant okay so you can find the uh, you know the period okay so um what's the mass of car mass of car is 1200 uh, plus 200 uh, mass of car mass of family 200 so it's 1200 car and 200 kilogram family uh, and the uh, spring constant is 65400 okay so what's the period let's calculate ah so i got the answer already uh, it is uh, 0, 0 0.92 second uh, 0 0.92 second okay 0 0.92 second okay so that's the period uh, so remember uh, the car and the family oscillate together uh, so you need to take both masses uh, not just the mass of the family the car also oscillate uh, the car plus family oscillates together so two masses uh, but here uh, just now for the compression it's just the mass of the family, just the weight of the family. Uh, but for the oscillation, uh, for the oscillation, um, the car and the family oscillates together. Okay. Uh, remember that. Uh, okay. So how about the frequency? Let's find out the frequency. Frequency is 1 over period. Uh, which is uh, 1 over 0 .0, 0 0.0192. So what do we get? 1 divided by this answer. So the frequency is um, 1.09 hertz. Uh, yeah? Or you can write as 1.09 per second. Uh, okay? So is the answer correct? Yes. The frequency is 1.09 hertz. That's correct. Okay. Uh, so that's it. Yeah. Uh, for these questions. Okay. Let's move on to the next video.